Hi, let's see how to fix enable to load persistent data on the battlefield 2042. Are you having an experience uh, issuing? <clears throat> are you having an experiencing issues with the loading persistent data on the battlefield 2042? If you're so, you're not alone. The pull error message reads something like this: "Error unable to load persistent data. In the game will return to start menu. Please check your internet connection. Make sure." The platform client is online and drag in. So many players have reported encountering unable to load persistent data. Error message which prevents them from accessing their game progress and starts. This can be frustrating, especially if you have invested a lot of time and efforts into the game. The root cause of the issue is not entirely clear, but it seems to be related to crossplay between the PC and the Xbox. So whenever you face this kind of error, you see the screen like this. So let's see how to fix unable to load persistent data on the battlefield 2042. First method is disable the crossplay. You can try disabling the crossplay. This has worked for some players who encounter the same issue. Generally, to disable the crossplay, go to the game settings and find the crossplay option. Disable it and then relaunch the game to see if that has the issue has been resolved. Okay, so if you are playing the Battlefield 2042 on the Xbox, you need to go to the settings, general online safety and the family privacy and the online safety, Xbox privacy, view details and customize communication in the multiplayer, select block under, you can join the cross network play. Second method is restore the license. Restoring the license can be helpful step. If you are experiencing the above issue on the PlayStation 5 console, go to the gun settings user accounts and then other restore license and then select restore for playstation 4 follow this method the third method is change your entity type on the playstation 5 to change your entity type on the playstation 5 you first need to verify the entity type you now currently got once you are armed with the information you can then decide whether you need to open the ports on your router to improve your online gaming experience the fourth method is restart the battlefield 2042. The first solution that you can try to fix is unable to load persistent data bug in the battlefield 2042 is to restart the game. Simply close the battlefield 2042 application, then wait for it to completely turn off. Then launch the game again and then see if the issue has been resolved or not. The fifth method is check for the corrupted game files. If restarting the game didn't work, then you should check for the corrupted game files. Go to the game's installation folder and look for the verify integrity of the game files option. This will check any corrupted files and repair them automatically. Sixth method is check your internet connection. Make sure that you have a strong internet connection with very good speed and a very good bandwidth. If your internet connection is speed is low, and if you're facing the issue, try to contact your internet service provider. Some of the fixes you can try from your end is to try is to reset your router or the modem if you are facing the internet issue. Seventh method is change your DNS settings. Another potential fix that for the unable to load persistent data bug is in the battlefield 2042 is to change your DNS settings. You can do this by going to your network settings and then changing the DNS server to the different one. This could help you to improve the internet connection and resolve the issue. The eighth method is verify you are signed. You signed into your PSN account. You must make sure that you signed into your PSN account. Accounts usually remain signed. If not, enter your account password and sign in. ID, enter the verification code from the authenticator app or the SMS that sent to your registered mobile number. The verification code is valid for 10 minutes after resigning an attempt. If your code has expired, select resend from the sign in screen to receive the new code. By following these troubleshooting steps, you should be able to fix this particular error. Unable to load the persistent data on the battlefield 2042. Okay, so that's all about this. Thank you.